<laughs> well, hey, look, Sational. I am just getting some stuff out of the way, texting some people. I am going to clean a bag. Hey, Apple Blonde. Hey, Jennifer. Um, this is a clean bowl of water, soon to not be clean. We have saddle soap, and we are going to do some cleaning. I'm going to move this mic. You might see it in the... I don't want to get it wet. Hello, hello. How is everybody? I thought about going live earlier today, but honestly, I, I filmed a couple videos. I'm about... I'm about 15 days away from having no more canned videos, and I'm like, I need to start filming some videos. So I filmed a couple videos. I need to start doing some collections, because um, all my unboxings I've been doing live, so I don't have the unboxings. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Brian. Um, hey, I went to, guys, I went to um, the outlets today, and I got some scoops. So I was at the Dis they're the Dooney outlet today, and I'm cleaning this bag. By the way, I'm just gonna do the outside for right now. Actually, I really should do the inside. The inside's really dirty. Let me, let me just see if I can just flip this inside out. Um, so I went to the to the Dooney outlet, and I was talking to the Dooney ladies. Man, I have not seen hardware this trash in a long time. This bag has been a I don't know if you can, I'm going to get this closer so you can see it. Um, can you see the, it's like almost down to base metal. It's so very, this is very, I need to get some brass so, and I might have to do some metal prepare on this. <laughs> this poor bag. <laughs> Hey, Angela. Hey, Cammie. Um, I've been watching. I took the day off today because, you know, I, I, I came back from vacation. I'm tired. My, my poor husband had to go to work. So bad news about work is our new hire didn't get hired, which is sad. There was a problem with some HR issues, and it was, it's just it's BS, guys. You know, so we lost a really good employee before we even got the employee. Not cool. Um, but anyway, um. I have to deal with work tomorrow. I'm not going to deal with it now. So I was watching. Um, <laughs> hey, Cammie. Um, I was watching Don and um, Winnie's live from last Friday. It was fun. Um, I'm not done with it, but some good story time in that live. So this is the interior. And you can see how cracked it is. I mean, this poor bag. Oof. There's not much else I can do to this bag that already hasn't been done to it. So we're just going to go for it and uh, have some fun seeing how much. You see all the cracking in the in the coating? I don't know if you can see that. See how it looks? Yeah, this, this, this poor bag. So this is just a coating on the inside that has a screen print. Um, yeah. So we're going to get some... Watch some stuff happen in live time. So, so I went to okay. So I went to the Dooney outlet, and in the Dooney outlet, there was a lady shopping, who's a coach employee. So the because the Dooney outlet's like three doors down from the coach outlet, and talking to the coach lady, she was telling me, I was telling her how I feel about coach, and like I love coach, but I'm mad at coach. It's okay. It's it's all talking about how they're doing these drops and um and how they're just going to be what's the word they do a boutique out uh, the drop and then they do an outlet drop sit, like 10 months later so she was telling me that in about a week they're dropping a new line that is um from last summer if you remember dune or excuse me coach coach had a really pretty floral pattern come out with a little bit of sparkle on it well the outlet's getting it in about a week yeah so yeah it's like if you bought that and you wanted to add to your collection great if you bought that thinking it was exclusive sorry <laughs> yeah i think this is just what coach is going to do now so we were talking about the denim drop and how that you know people are gonna they're i'm guarantee it that they're gonna have another denim collection come out in the same colorway in um the outlet because that's what they've been doing and she she agreed with me she didn't she didn't confirm or deny hi brian um 
So it was fun talking to the uh, coach lady buying a Dooney bag because she was in the Dooney outlet. And then I was talking to the Dooney ladies and they were telling me in about a week, about a month, about next month. So about two weeks from now, they're going to be getting a new collection to the um, to the outlet that was um, the Peacock collection for Dooney. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited about it because um, it is like so pretty. So I said, well, I'll be back next month. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm telling you, they if you watch what they're doing, they're just, and I have for the last two years, um, been paying attention to what Coach is doing. And it's, they'll, do a, they'll do an outlet. They'll do, they'll do a boutique, and about a year later, 10 to 12 months later, they'll that same collection will come out in the outlet variety. In other words, the outlet version of it. Some will be exactly the same, some won't. Like, there's some bags that only are at the outlet, like the Rowan, the Morgan, the Grace, you know. There's uh, the Smith Tote. Those are now the Dempsey Tote. Those are all outlet styles. And where, and now they've changed... If you've noticed, they haven't come out with any new field totes because I think they, I think they bumped the field tote out of the park, and now they're doing another different type of tote because they haven't come out with a new field tote. And I'm like, hmm. So this is this is they have a new tote, but it's not the field tote, right? So we'll see. We will see what they're doing. But I just keep watching and looking, and um, I'm just using the saddle soap on this whatever this coating is in here and it's really not bringing up much dirt surprisingly because it's it's well until you look at the water yeah it's on the brush it's not it's not horrible guys not horrible um yes at jennifer it's a peacock feather design that they're coming out with like in this really vibrant colorway and um but I did buy a bag today, uh, and I actually have an unboxing today. An epic, awesome, you, know, you guys, the patience I have shown. I should win an award. Um, I left home this morning because I had to go to the post office. And um, actually, you can really see the difference between the two colors. Um, at least I can. Um, and so I had to get out of the house. I had to get up and do stuff. I had to fill out you know, papers or whatever. So I go to the post office today and as I'm leaving, Hey Craig. And as I'm leaving, um, <laughs> go ahead and lurk, sir. We like lurkers just as much. Um, I love unboxings. Yeah. Hi, doing Craig. Yeah. I'm going to try and do a, a quick clean on this and then I'll have an unboxing probably in about an hour to be honest because of, Hey Marilla. So the thing with, um, I'm leaving the house and the UPS truck pulls up and he hands me two packages. And I'm like, I know what's in this box. I really want to open it, but I need to wait to open it live. <laughs> so I waited all day knowing that I have this box here, knowing exactly what's in there. And the box got a little squished. So I am so excited about this. And I was actually telling the uh, Dooney ladies about it because the Dooney ladies, they don't, they work for Dooney, you know? So they're not following Shop Disney releases. They're not selling, they don't sell the, um, the releases for Disney because it's it's contracted differently. But um, the thing was the fun thing about um talking to them is Dooney and Bark has a, a new retail store outlet, and it's in the um in Connecticut. So they actually have one actual retail full price store in Connecticut, and they have. 10 outlets and and i always go to the outlet taking photos and sharing it because um not ever because there's only 10 in the country and they were telling us that last year they had closed down the california location and they were worried they were going to be next because they had two california locations closed down and i'm like yeah because california is a horrible state to work do business in the rent the real estate you know if you watch super Jacob, and i caught up on super Jacob, um talking about how some of the giant luxury companies i think um they were saying that gucci um which is carrying bought property and i think lvmh bought a property to, to own real estate because you're looking at some of the most expensive luxury spaces in the world where they have their stores and if they're paying rent that's a lot of rent over many years 
So they're buying actual real estate so they can own it, which makes sense. I would do the same thing. Um, Sears, that was Sears model for years is they own their buildings. Um, but anyway, so I'm excited to find out that Dooney and Burke has a new regular outlet or regular retail store, not just, and that's how come like most Dooney products are sold through distributors. So they go to places like uh, Macy's has their, NFL collection, but Dillard's has their, you know, full collection, and then other retailers. I think Belk's has them. Of course, their online stores have them, but people really don't shop in department stores anymore, but that's still how Dooney does their, um, most of their distribution of products. Um, yes, Jennifer, I did. You got your Disney dog toad. I, I looked it up last night and you were talking about, and it looks really nice. Yes, Jennifer. And it's sold out. It's sold out within hours. It, it sold out. And I'm just sitting there in a box, in a box, you know, waiting patiently for me to open it. Um, James had to go to work today. So he's dead tired. He's on his way to go see his mom because she's, we haven't seen her in the whole week. We've been gone, of course. And yesterday we just came home. We didn't, um, we didn't drop by. She has a new room, so he has to go see her. So I'm sure he has to catch up with all the news at the nursing home and see how her progress is doing. Hopefully, um, she'll be back in a couple weeks because she's paid up through the end of the month. And the whole goal is to get her home, right? So she wants to. Um, do you get your packages from Amazon too? I did get a delivery. It's at the door. I haven't gone out to pick it up. I thought it was. Um, I might have another unboxing, guys. I haven't checked. I was just waiting for James to come home with the mail. Basically, I was too lazy to go to the door. I heard that it got set, something got delivered, and I just kind of left it there. Um, because I was like, I just want to go live. It just got delivered a little bit ago. Um, you got, yeah. In the anticipation. <laughs> uh, I might know what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because I figured it was just my detergent order that was that I was actually expecting. <laughs> so this is doing pretty good, guys. I don't think the red is going to come out without a, a, a stronger uh, cleaning solution. And I do have the Amidex that looks that um, Saya sent me, but I have it probably in the bottom of that tote. And one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Let's just go with surface clean. And then I'm going to have to do some major cleaning to this pocket um, in the sink later because the pocket has some staining on the inside. Man, all of the coach bags with its coating on the inside, it's just a printing of on the paint on leather, right? And as the leather has aged and creaked and creased and been used and flexed, it's because it's a natural material. Um, Anyway, it's just a natural process of aging, but these are really expensive totes. If you bought this brand new, this is not a cheap tote. I don't think anything at Coach is cheap anymore, to be honest. Or even like, they, I don't buy anything from Coach new. Um, I try not to, um, unless I really, 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 really have to have it. Um, Mainly because I don't, you know, I have bags from Coach from like the 90s that look great that would never do this. And it's just how we treat stuff now. But this is not, um, it's not, you can coat this, you can seal this again so that this doesn't happen. Continue to flake because this will flake. Eventually this will flake. Um, right now, hey, D. Higamotham, it's just um, a little bit of wrinkling and wearing, but eventually this paint finish will start flaking so to prevent that i really should do a sealant on here um so that it prevents it and they probably will eventually just not at this exact minute and i'm going to i wonder if this is meant to be an inside out bag because it feels like the way it's finished out that you could because look at how they've done the rivet finished out and the way they've done this pocket, you could, technically, you could carry it like this if you wanted to. You just, I mean, this is really trashed. 
But when this is new, I wonder if that was meant to be either or. Hey, native. Um, let me see if I can get another scrub on the bottom. We'll see how this. Is. And remember the red tote that you added oil to? Can you see it dry? Maybe it's the red one on your left. Um, I have a lot of red bags. <laughs> um, Karen, yes, I do have some Coach Disney bags. Um, I have a dinky. I have another Coach patch bag over there, and I have a Coach Coach Disney wallet on the other side of here. They're just not on one space. Um, hey, 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 Pixie, red tote. Is it the one that's in the back? The one that you can see really the big one next to the orange, the, next to the yellow bag? Because I tend to clean a lot of bags, so I don't quite remember um, which one you're... And guys, I almost bought a red extra large Florentine satchel today because they had them on clearance at the outlet for $159. But I'm like, Jackie, you don't... Okay, I'll go get it in a second. I'm like, Jackie, you don't have to buy this bag and i did buy a bag at the outlet today it wasn't the red florentine but i'll have to show it to you i did a video on it but i'm going to show you anyway um so yeah let's get yeah i don't think this is going to come off without a stronger um cleaning solution this something melted onto this this poor bag this is going to take a whole lot more than soap don't put pens in your purse and i do it too so i mean i can't judge and honestly it's a tote you're meant to throw stuff in it that's about as good as that's going to get without using a different solution i am going to have to find a sealant i think uh, ed told me what to get and i for i didn't get it and i'm gonna have to order it now because I want this to last a little bit longer um, without peeling on the inside. And I'm probably going to wipe this down again. So there's a lot of soap residue on the inside because I just wiped off the soap. I didn't actually use a clean cloth. You know, it's a just a soapy cloth. So it's not going to hurt the bag. It won't hurt the bag. It can, it can stay soapy. Um, the saddle soap has conditioner in it also. So let's do the outside. Let's do the outside, guys. So let's start on the bottom. Here we go. Now this is pretty grody. This is just dirty. It's dirty. It's all there's to it. This is the part that's the outside. So it's, it gets all the environmental elements. It sits on the floor. You could throw it in your car. Um, it doesn't get treated the best, you know, especially the bottom. So we're just gonna brush it up. <laughs> I like watching a lot of cleaning videos and um, but they're always sped up. <laughs> they're always sped up, which I understand. I mean, really, who's really gonna sit here and in real time show you how it, long it takes to clean and scrub a bag? Um <laughs> Let's see. Water. So how's everyone doing? <laughs> Thank you, um, Debbie. It is relaxing. I like watching people clean, so I figured might as well do it myself, right? Um, and you know, there's a process to it. So you clean it and then you you know let it dry. So I'm gonna have to do most of it again i mean i'll probably do more cleaning later but you don't want it to get you can let it get too wetter than this it's fine if it gets wet to be honest it's just it's leather it's 
if not new buck or suede through the treated leather. The sh these poor feet. The feet on this bag are trashed. There's like no metal left almost. The gold brass. Man, this bag isn't that old, guys. This bag is only from 2018. Um, it looks a little better. Wow. It has a huge scuff. It took the coating right off down to the paint, or right down to the raw leather down there. Um, you can really see it. Um, with the with wet that dark spot, that's the the raw leather showing peaking. Um, yes, Jane, Mister Watson did come home. He's been napping all day. Apparently, Auntie Caitlin wore him out, like wore him out, wore him out. He is a very tired puppy. He spent all day napping. Um, I gave him treats. I did forget to go get his. I meant to go get his dog treats, more dog treats, dog bones. But luckily, James, the stuff we had bought before we left, we still had some. So I just, like, okay. But I forgot to go to the dog food place to go get some more bully sticks or something for him to chew. Because Auntie Caitlin has been giving him lots of chewy things. Um, he's been having a blast of a time running in and out of the house. Because when he was with Caitlin, if she was at work during the day, he was in his crate. Because he cannot be trusted in other people's homes. So our home, fine. You know, but we don't trust a pug by himself in other people's homes. Like, you cannot eat her furniture and you cannot pee on her rug, you know? So, like, we want you to be invited back. <laughs> she used the devil out of that bag. Oh, yeah, this bag was, this bag was beat up to heck. She did. She actually said she was the one who caused all the damage. She bought this brand new. She used this bag and, um, I told her I got it. I said, I'm going to do a cleaning with it, and you're going to see what it looks like. And then she was very excited. Um, and, you know, she had this when she was working at Coach. She's no longer working at Coach. You know, people move on. Their taste moves on. Um, I would just continue to use a bag like this. I would never get rid of it because it's still a good leather bag. And knowing how expensive these ones are, and they don't make the Rogue uh, tote anymore, you know? Yeah. I've seen a couple on um, eBay. I've been looking to get one anyway. So when this one came around at, and it was so beat up, I said, this could be fun. Let's just see if I can do it. It's like, I wasn't sure if I can finish, finish this out. Hey, Melissa, we're just doing a clean with me and I have an unboxing. But you can see, see, see where the dark, 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 that scraping? That is the break in the leather finish, guys. So what you're seeing is... Um, the leather underneath being wet because the coating protects the leather. So um, you can see from her fingernails and just using this bag and this will dry and it will, it will not look like this. It's just wet. Um, and you can see the, the creasing here is just from the bag. It's just leather. This is what leather does. It's, it's not, it's not, there's nothing wrong with the bag. This is just what a leather does. Yeah. But again, people buy bags, especially light color bags, and they think, oh, it should always look perfect. Well, bags don't do that if you use them. You know, you oil them on your hands and you scrape things and, you know, gets rained on and all kinds of stuff happened to bags. Bags, bags have a rough life sometimes. Look at this one. Uh, so, so it doesn't look its best now. It will. Um, because what you're seeing, so this side before I before I put water on it and soap, see how it looks. This is and this is the side that has soap and water. You can see all the flaws with the with the water. The water shows all the flaws because the water is going in underneath the coating, and it's highlighting all of the veining and all of the scratches on the coating. Um, you can see the wear here, the the scuff mark here. And let's do this side. Yeah, I did. No, I did have the hang tag. I don't care about the hang tag. I know a lot of coach people really do care. Um, it's a huge deal. That's why you find them on the aftermarket and people spend just as much for a hang tag as they do for the bag. But um, yeah, a lot of times those, those little chains come undone and uh, you lose a tag or you sell the you sell that part. Sometimes people sell the straps. They sell them in parts. They'll sell the straps. They'll sell the hang tag. Um, and I think the only reason why she didn't parts this out is because the straps are just as beat up as this. Um, Apple to be 
I plan to sleep tonight and all day tomorrow was playing tour guide to family that comes to visit since Thursday. Last oh wow, that's rough. Apple blonde. Yep. Love your shirt you're wearing. Oh yeah, right. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I love this shirt. Um, I got a compliment on it today too. Uh, when I was at the um, the sales lady at the duty store, which they now know me by by the way. Um, I never really advertised that I have a a bag channel, but I've been there, going there enough, and there's enough. They they see me enough that they now know who I am. <laughs> so we always talk bags. Um. I really meant to go to the Ralph Lauren outlet because my husband was at work, so I didn't have a chaperone. I only had a finite amount of dollars to spend. I had the last of the cash from the vacation in my pocket. I asked James if he wanted it. He said no. I said, okay, well, then you're leaving it with me. <laughs> and he said, okay. And I said, okay, I'm going to the store, and whatever I have left is what I have left, and that's all I can spend. And um, I was planning on you know, going to the coach outlet. I wanted to go to the long shop. I wanted to go see the Gucci outlet. I didn't have a chaperone. Um, I didn't have a lot of money, but I could go look. James hates looking, right? So I can go look. Well, I went to the one store and only one store. I never left. I never went anywhere else. I didn't even go. I honestly didn't even go to the Disney outlet because I knew if I went, I'd spend a you know buttload of money. Um, and we already spent a buttload of money. <laughs> it's like, I already spent a ton of money on Disney. Let's just go. Let me get this bag. And the only reason I got the bag, and I'll show you that one first because I already moved into it for tomorrow. Um, okay. So let me just do this handle. And then we're just going to let this chill out and let it dry. And I might have to do another clean. I don't think I'll do any more saddle soap. I don't think the saddle soap's going to do anymore. I think um, what I'm going to have to do is get... Wow. This this poor bag. This poor bag! Um, it just needs to dry out. And then tomorrow I'll probably do a moisturizing. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday. So when he goes live... What did I just do? I just got something on here. Let's see. We sat there before, and I not notice it. Yeah, this is one of those bags that might be um, only thing that's going to save it is a color restoration. But I I like the beat upness. I do. I appreciate the look of this. It is beechwood, so this is the color beechwood, and um, we're just going to let it hang out, dry up, see how it looks tomorrow. Um, I do have the straps, so let me clean those real quick right here and then i can show you some bags um so here we go here's the straps these are actually not bad at all they're just you know worn in fraying a little bit um nothing it's just the ends that are like wow the metal i guess i have to i do have a metal cleaner and polisher that i will now have to experiment with this this is a good experiment before i go use it on that fair combo bag i bought it for and um anyway i'm having a pretty good day i took a nap i woke up with a slow start sleeping was hard i did not sleep well last night at all i stayed up i was like why can't i sleep i'm finally home i spent the entire week on vacation pretty much sleeping and i get home i can't sleep i'm like great um luckily i didn't have to go to work today because i took the day off and uh today was mondays are mayhem at the office so i'm i'm ha if you're gonna take a day off fridays are easy Mondays are chaos because most people take Mondays off and then you have the weekend happen and something always goes wrong. It's the start of the work week. We have staff meetings and you have like, what's the goals or what's this and what's that and whatever. It's a Monday, Monday meetings. So I was like, I'm taking Monday off. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I had a really good day. I kind of felt bad for my husband. He had to go to training. That's why he couldn't take the day off. Even if he had the vacation time, he had to, uh, hey, Grace, he had to, um, what was it called? He had to do training. He has a whole week of it. Like, luckily, we his uh, this uh, vacation didn't, because we plan our vacations a year away. So it's not as if we knew, 
you know, when we went on vacation, he'd have that training. So luckily he was able to do the training. So let me put this over here because that has to go get washed now. I'm going to move this out. of You know, I'm going to take this to the sink so I don't make a mess. I'll be right back, people. If I can get out of the way. Knowing me, I will make a huge mess and knock this on the floor. So... Okay, I'm back. So, where did I put? Again, it's not Jackie Live if I can't find something. I'm always losing something, guys. It's like, I just had that. Where did I put it? I don't know. Okay. So, <laughs> This is the bag I bought. So this is a sample bag. So this is a made in Italy sample bag. So on the inside, it doesn't have the Dooney setup. It doesn't have the pockets. It doesn't have the made by Dooney. This was literally a sample bag. Um. Oh, so yeah, the brush, this is a horse hair brush. Those are the, the, the horse hair brushes will help get the grain if you have a pebbled leather or textured um, leather. You want to use a cloth if it's like a, something that's very delicate that will scratch like a lamb. You don't want to use even this bristle. Um, yeah, so, but if you're using it on this, like a regular pebble leather, use um, a horse hair brush. And you can use it on delicate leathers if there's a good... Um, coating on it like a, a wax or a moistured leather is fine but if you have a dry leather so if you're using saddle soap you're doing it to get into the grain you know that's the whole point of using the brush versus you know so anyway this bag is not Dooney standards and let me explain mr watson i wonder if james is home it seems a little early to get home you might be barking at the neighbors. Um, see this duck? This is an old school Dooney duck. They used to do this duck. And it's smaller than normal. Normally this plate's bigger on the older versions. Um, it doesn't have a baseboard. Normally in the substructure they'll have a board in here. And this will have feet. It doesn't. Now they did make this version of a base in production, this bag, whether it went to full production, I don't know. Um, but this one was a sample bag. And inside it says sample bag. And I have the receipt, and I know it came from the warehouse. But the thing that I like the most about this, and this is the color jean, and I have this in the tote. Brian actually gave me the tote. This matches it. Um, is It is, um, first of all, very lightweight because it doesn't have a lot of the substructure. It doesn't have the interior um, configuration. It just has a, le a regular lining. Um, it's just an open cavity. It's just an open cavity. There's nothing, there's no pocket. It's just a canvas lining, nothing in it says Dooney. Like if you didn't know this came from the warehouse, you would probably think it was a fake because it doesn't have all the standard things that you would normally look for, but it came right from the warehouse, and it's a sample made in Italy. So this was one of their production lines, like, hey, what about this style? And what I really like, too, is um, this this um, particular strap. This is not the normal Dooney strap. I really like the way this one looks. Uh, normally, they don't have this indentation, this groove like this. this is really pretty. Um, so I like this bag. And, and you have to train it to smile. So eventually, it's very soft and squishy. I really like that. Um, hey, Cammie. Well, I cleaned the bag. And um, it's drying now. And I'm showing you the bag I bought today. Now, there'll be a video on this, so we'll see it again. But... Um, yeah, so this bag I bought at the sample sale. They still had a few bags left. So I went over there and bought this one. I got it for $100. And 
and uh, brand new, $100, very happy with it, um, it's gorgeous, it was the last of my vacation money, um, so, and I have an update on this bag, so this bag was damaged, um, you can buy a bag stiffener, yeah, well, I could buy a base shaper too, but I like the fact that it's soft, that's why I liked it, um, yeah, that was from today. So this one I got in the mail and I opened it yesterday. So this is supposed to have two straps that come down. Um, so they cut cut them out. <laughs> the person who sold this to me um, did a very excellent job of cutting out the straps because you can't even almost, you can almost not even tell they were there. The only reason I can tell is there's an indentation here. And then there's one little bit of, of leather they didn't quite cut off perfectly but for whatever reason the person who had this bag didn't like the straps so um i only paid 30 dollars for this bag i'm not going to be upset about it you know i should have kept that water i was supposed to clean this one too i'll just do this on i'll do this later um but this is a very soft leather so i'm thinking of maybe taking the belt out and carrying it differently because the belt looks kind of silly without those straps designs but i don't know i'm i have plans for this bag so i'm not upset at all i'm actually really happy with this bag it's just that why would you take those that detail off the detail is really pretty um but for whatever reason, whoever owned this did. Maybe they got ripped off. There is a very delicate leather, but in general, and there's a tearing on the inside, and I knew about the tearing on the inside. Um, yeah, right? Isn't it gorgeous? Um, yeah, but Craig, they took off the straps. I looked, they, and I could find, I could see the evidence of where they used to be, um, but this bag is beautiful, so... I'm fine with it. I don't care. We're going to customize this bag. I'm going to clean this bag. I'm thinking about getting some patches. So normally I would put patches on a leather bag like this, but since it's already been modified, might as well make it go with the, you know, the look of customization. Yeah. This bag, I haven't actually shown you guys. Or the belts with the metal one. Yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah, you're right. I could do that. So I bought this a couple years ago, and I haven't finished restoring it. At first, I was going to sell it. Then I was going to give it away. I bought it originally to give away, literally to my sister-in-law, because she only likes black bags. But then she bought a new bag, and then I never got around to cleaning this one. So I'm thinking maybe should I just rest I just need some leather conditioner. This is when Michael Kors made really nice leather bags. So somebody was asking me yesterday what I thought about Michael Kors. Well, I like Michael Kors of a certain age. This is of a certain age. This is a very beautiful leather bag. Very beautiful leather bag. So I just wanted to show you that. And the bag I used today was this one. I love this bag. Now, I'm going to tell you all this because I hate to admit this to my husband. But he'll find out eventually. I may have allegedly, theoretically, PayPal might, might confirm this, bought the twin in dark blue, in indigo, today. Because I saw it, I knew it was there, I knew it was the mini, I said, I don't need two of the same bag. I shouldn't get two of the same bag. I don't need to have two of the same bag. But it was a, they offered it for $90 with free shipping. You know how expensive these little mini Bellport bags are? These are like $500 bags and I love them. So I'm like, okay, must get off the website. So, okay, vacation is over. I said, vacation is over. You can't keep doing this, Jackie. Now you have to pay back the Piper and you have to pay off PayPal before they yell at you. <laughs> and I have to still go to vacation in uh, in September. Like, I still have another vacation this year I have to pay for. <laughs> so it's like, Jackie. And that's not where I'm expensive. That's where James is expensive. Yeah, it's so cute. So I have this one and I have the um, dark indigo version of it coming also um and most people i think the i think the mini might be too small for most people even though people like mini bags um i would love to get the large one i would love the large one i would love 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 the large one we can't afford that and i maybe could afford that if i kept stop buying small bags but i can't apparently help myself um i was looking at a neverfull today i'm like oh i should i was like Man, if I just stop buying bags, I could just buy a Neverfull. I'm like, yeah, Jackie, that's not you. <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> it's not me. 
Yeah. So let me show you the bag I got in the mail today. Hey, Monarch. Um, yeah, I did buy it on eBay. But see, I took the app off. But I'm still, the internet still exists. So it's a little bit harder. It takes an extra step. It wasn't impulsive, guys. I have actually been looking at that bag for a while. And I told myself, no, Jackie, no. Um, and um, in a moment of a supreme weakness, when I saw they offered it for even less money with free shipping, I said, okay. <laughs> um, I'm super busy. Oh, yeah. Craig's listening. He's still organizing household life. Um, I have a large one, but I don't want to drop a lot of coin on bags right now. D, I agree. Um, I would love to have the large Bell Bellport bag, and eventually maybe I will. Maybe that might be one of the bags I buy from Ralph Lauren website eventually, Christmas time. Um, that might be something I do. Um, but right now... Um, my goal is to not buy bags. And I say that every time I talk to y'all and I say, hey, look, I bought this. Hey, look, I bought this. I'm at the point where my credit card says no. And I told my husband, this is the one credit card I'm using. I'll manage this one and the rest of them I won't touch. So I can't just go find other financing. I have to just stick to this budget and then I'll pay that out, pay it down, pay it down. Um, so working and listening good for you, <laughs> says Nora. Um, yeah. Um, if I had passed on the last four bags, I would have had a Chanel flap. But Cammy, would that one Chanel flap make you happy? That's the problem. Like, do I really want the one never full, or did I want the five credit or the five um boxer bags I have? I'd rather have the boxer bags. You know why? They still make the never full, they still make the classic flap. They don't make the boxer bag anymore. Reed Karkoff is it. That's all there is. And as they come up on the market, I'm trying to get them as I can because they're at a price point that is just phenomenal for a bag that's like normally three grand to get it for like fifty dollars to a hundred dollars just because people are and i feel bad for the people who consign it to real real because i'm buying them off the real real mostly um and you know they're not getting peanuts for those bags the people who consign them um oh well, yeah i can't live in one bag I, I saw a chanel bag today though that i sent to craig that i thought was phenomenal and it was eight hundred dollars it was beautiful i would have been tempted that's one of the few chanel bags i would have been tempted to buy um Boo nine says, Jackie, what is your dream bag if money was no object? If money was no object. Oh my goodness. Probably an Hermes bolide or but I've never touched one. So it's hard to say that's the one. I think if I could choose any leather and this I think it's called the Berenia. Um this the the really, really pretty brown leather that Hermes makes. It starts with a B. I might not be Berenia or it's it's a really beautiful leather. Um, any bag, um, either the Helzon or the Bleed, I those are my. I love the way they look. I don't know. I I know I love the Bleed because of the dome bag. You can't go wrong with the dome bag. But um, the Helzon, I've never actually touched. I just love the way it looks. I like the style of the shoulder bag. Um, so probably that if money was like no object, um, or alligator or crocodile. But then I'd be afraid to use it. So my practical side would never let me buy it. So, like, honestly, if I could buy any bag, it would just be a leather bag in Hermes. And um, if that wasn't the other option... But it's not, like, something I'm looking for, guys. Like, it's not something I'm looking for. I just say Hermes because it's such, like, a pinnacle item that everybody says the leather's so amazing. And But I've never seen it. I've never touched it. I don't know. I might not even like it. I don't know. So, I mean... But in general, a really well-made leather bag. <laughs> and I have a lot of those. So my dream bag is a really well-made leather bag. <laughs> so I, I guess it's kind of a boring response. It isn't some like, oh, I have to have a Fendi or I have to have a um, Peekaboo. And although I do love Dale's Addictions Peekaboo, she got her croc. Oh, my God. Her pink future croc. Oh, my God. Just, um, or was it Alligator? reptile whatever so i don't have like a pinnacle dream bag i must have this bag it used to be lv bags it used to be i had to have i used to have the original speedy and i don't have it um and i still don't have the original speedy you know but i don't know if that's just a goal that i thought i wanted because a lot of the lv bags i've purchased i sold 
Okay, Rania is a leather and fag, f- fagbore, which, which some French word, I'm sure, is the color. That's the one Craig knows. That color combo, that beautiful. Okay, so Dale's was croc. Okay, Dale had croc. Um, yeah, that Rania leather, every time I see it, I'm like, that's so pretty. That It's almost like, I mean, I, I, I realize this is not possible. But when I see photos of it, it looks like the light just bounces off that leather finish. It just looks so beautiful. Like the most gorgeous leather color, cognac color you've ever seen. Um, I like that. That's like my favorite. Um, damn, it's still, I'm doing three things at the same time. <laughs> um, the... I guess I'm always looking for the, it's almost like the color of brown, of tanning color that I'm always looking for is that very beautiful kind of a cognac whiskey color where you can see through it and it's kind of like the light bounces off of it and it has this, it's just a beautiful, beautiful color, rich, a lot of dynamic, that's more like brown bags more than black bags. Black bags can sink light into it and it's still beautiful. Nothing, like there's nothing more beautiful than a perfectly washed, cleaned black car that's polished. It's beautiful. Um, I kind of feel that way with black bags. But they don't film well. They don't photography well. The the way the light hits it. So I really like the look and dynamics of a brown, rich brown bag. Um, depending on the finish or light refracts off the high shine fish. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I love about that look. And I would take that look in any leather bag. I'm just saying that in Hermes because I know they have that. You know. But anyway, let me show you this unboxing. This is this is a huge deal, guys. This is a huge deal. Um, I love the Brenia too. I would love a bag in that leather. Yeah, I'd like anything in that leather. I'd like a wallet, an SLG, anything, anything, because I just want to look at it and see it and use it. You know, there's nothing more beautiful than a high shine croc. That too, but that too. So look at look at how cool. There's Goofy and Donald and Pluto, <laughs> and look magic in the mail this came from shopdisney.com and um here it is and i'm here's mickey and here's the same side so the top got a little crushed let me see if i can do this without no i can't let me take off this this label because i really want to show you what happened to this poor box Well, so look at this look at what happened to this poor box look at how crunched this is now i'm not too worried because i know how big the bag is this is a very big box um brenna is a heritage leather so it can get very pr- oh i'm sure i mean i mean craig there's nothing there's nothing in hermes i can't afford i can't even afford the perfume so if money was no object that's what i would pick money is an object so that's not what i have <laughs> What I have is a three hundred dollar um, Dooney coated canvas bag, <laughs> but let me show you how cool this bag is. Um, it's already on sale, by the way. Um, it traveled the journey, right? Um, it's already on sale on on eBay for like five hundred dollars, where people are actually bidding on it. Um, they're bidding on it for $500. It's not like it was, oh, we listed for 500. No, no, people are still buying. They're buying this bag because they were so limited. And it's been leaked so many times when it was supposed to release. And it, they didn't say it was a limited run of only 400. Um, I have a croc bag I bought in Buenos Aires in 20 for $2,000 in 2018. Where it tries the hardware is horrible. Oh really? Well, you know, you can Nora, you can you can polish that hardware. There's ways you can treat the hardware. But hardware dates a bag. Now I love a croc bag. I love croc. I think croc is beautiful. So if the hardware isn't your jam, maybe fix it. Like as you you know, uh girl by girl perfume is cheaper than LV and Chanel. That's true. I agree with you. I do have, but I bought five ounces of Chanel, five ounces. I love that Chanel blue, by the way, guys, I'm wearing it. It's much more a personal scent. It's not 
polo projects more um of course i'm wearing polo intense which is intense but um the chanel blue is much more of a personal fragrance it's 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 nice it's subtle it's not like oh hello you're wearing cologne you know you're not that person in the elevator um yes oh my gosh i'm so excited Woohoo! Look! Oh this is so awesome! Oh, see, who needs Chanel? Who wants a classic flap? Chanel does not have these cool dogs! Look at this! Oh, Oh my gosh, there's Pluto. And we looked up all the names. This is the, I forgot his name from Fox and Hound. We looked them all up, but I don't know all of them by name because um, I don't know them all. But this is the one from Beauty and the Beast, Lady and the Tramp over here. Um, that one, which one is that one from? That's the St. Bernard. That's a Dachshund. That's Bolt. This one, this is uh, Doug, I believe. And I forgot the pug's name. But yeah, James looked up every dog and the Pongo, and I forgot the other lady Dalmatian name. So it's a little crumpled, a little bit crumpled, but oh my gosh, this bag is so amazing. Though this was actually on the way to the cruise. So this came out the day we left for our cruise. It came out and within like half a day it sold out. Um, so this was it's supposed to be a limited run. It was a um Disney Cruise or no, excuse me, Disney visa exclusive um so let me see if it has any paperwork saying that this is a re-release of a bag that they had released in 20 um 17 so this is what sells with Dooney disney all the princesses most of the princesses will sell now snow white was a little slow aurora just about sold out um right now we have the princess from wish i don't remember her name she's currently on the one of the bags right now and she's still in the store tatiana doesn't sell too well um because i don't think that that frog princess is really the most popular um disney but if you have something with frozen on there it sells like within second um miss um Snow White is a little older, so people, you know, my age, I mean, she was the first princess, let's be honest. So, this should have had a free item with it, but I don't know if it, I I didn't see how to add it, and I just bought the dang thing. I didn't care. I'm like, just give me my bag. Um, let me see if it shows. It has the registration card. It does right here. So this should say nothing other than it's a registration card. And it says in here, it just says dog 24. So it's a you know, so it's actually giving the year. So because the first one was 17. So it's dog 24. Um wow, look how awesome. Um Typical Dooney setup. This is a fam fabulous tote. Fabulous tote. Um, I like the... Um, it's a wider tote. Look at how beautiful. A wing out. Look at how long. This is gorgeous. Honey! Look! Look! All the puppies. Thank you, sir. Is that... How was your mom? They moved her. So she's not good? No. She's mad about being moved? Yeah, they basically moved her into another room. Yeah. Where there's already a person in there with a TV. And they said she wants a TV. She'll have to do something herself. And there's no place for her to put a TV. And so she asked if we could bring some headphones. She could listen to her audio book. I have some in my bedroom. Yeah. The one that they're hanging in the bathroom. So basically, they moved his mom to a joint room. She's paying for a joint room, so that's not unusual, but she was in a private room because they had the space. So now they moved her to a joint room, so she has a, a roommate. And uh, she doesn't like people in general. So, and changes. You want a sausage? Sure. Um, you got me a sausage wrap? 
So basically, her mom is grumpy. Yeah. Um, did she enjoy talking to you at least? Yeah, so okay. Yeah. But so I did not. you don't look happy. You look no. very sad. <laughs> more stuff for me to worry about. Um, we'll just give her some headphones and um she she has two more weeks and then she's coming back, I'm sure. I think maybe this will get her to do uh work harder on transfers. Yeah, nothing like an incentive as to get you out of a nursing home facility as you don't like your roommate. Um Love the print and the red interior. Um, Craig says hi, James. James is hi. tired. He looks really tired. Oh well, I didn't know either. I hope you can fix it because croc bags are special. Yeah, croc bags are special. Uh, Monarch, I tried one of the O ring pops out and they push it back in. I have a bag stuff because it does collapse. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Nora. If you find me on Instagram, send me some photos of your bag. I might be able to send some. Um, Tips. This is um, a gift, I'm pretty sure. So, Brian, if you're still here, I have a box. <laughs> so, I was waiting on an Amazon order, so I thought it was mine. But since he asked if I had an Amazon order, I think he knows what this is, and I think it's from him. So, let's take a look. Oh nope, this is not not that it this is my order from my laundry detergent. So this is what I was waiting for, but I have another one over there. So there might be another one. This this is the laundry detergent I, I use, guys. This is from Power is Drops. It's made by um well, they covered it. But this is a really good uh detergent. So I have another one. This is another thing. This okay, this is from him because this one says this one says Jackie. <laughs> Yay! This is from Ryan, guys. I got a gift. I got a gift. I got a sent a gift. Ryan sent me a gift because he's just awesome that way. Um, and he sent me a gift. He bought me a gift, a thing. So let me show you. This is so cool. I love SLGs. I normally don't buy them because I always get distracted with bad. Um so this is beautiful and it's part of the denim collection look look how pretty and and um i have a, a coach hayden so we're a nice set i could put this in my bag um, and actually i'm gonna switch into this we're just gonna switch into this let me unpack everything there's a lot of this is this is coach they they do wrapping in a, in a new way like um, I think people complain about the wrapping, but if they didn't do the wrapping, people would complain about not doing the wrapping. So I think the wrapping is better than not having the wrapping, to be honest. Um, so here's the, the wristlet fob. So it has like a, a red paint on the blue, which is like one of my favorite color combos. I'm glad you like it. If not Craig's fault, <laughs> it's always Craig's fault. <laughs> you know, Craig has a great taste. He has not led me wrong yet uh, when it comes to things. Um, or actually anything, to be honest. Oh, look how cute it has the tiniest little coach tag. Look how adorable that is. It's like a teeny tiny coach tag. Um, Scotch guard may be necessary for that denim. Yeah, I think so. I do have, I have Kongo Carbon Pro. Um, and that's what I use, which is the same thing. It's a type of barrier. Um, but again, this is a, a textile. Um, so things will happen to it. Looks pretty. They use like a leather leatherette kind of a tie. Um, so this has a bunch of crafted to last. This bag is made of cotton uh, scoured from farms that use regenerative agricultural practices um, and inspired by our commitment of reducing our impact on the planet. Now, no matter where you go with it, you will always be carrying a little extra love for the planet. That's really sweet. Um, now this is when I bust the bubble while everybody tell you that uh, dyeing denim, denim, indigo, um, the process of making denim is actually very toxic. And and cotton is organic and it's in its sustainable practices just means they probably do rotational farming. Um, but let's not let's not rain on the parade, guys. Well, let's just say, hey, we saved the planet. Uh, we bought something that helped sustain the planet. And I actually do believe that because. I keep these things, and I actually think cotton will last longer um, than most other materials that you're 
Uh, that's why I keep. That's why I like buying canvas bags, canvas totes, denim totes, and um, they're all my favorites. I have, you know, you can't ask me what my favorite kit is. They're all my favorites. Now there's there's bags I like to use more than other bags, but they're all my favorites. Okay, this is just gonna get cut off because I cannot unravel this. It's a wax. It looks like a waxed um cotton is on this that kind of leatherette feel but it's actually a wax cotton guys um brian i unboxed it and sent it back because it felt flimsy to me is, is it it's sturdy oh wait really this one cammy i love i have the zip and really like it um Small denim goods. Hey, Jeanette, Brian, Cammy. Well, it's a little flimsy, but I like it. It feels like a change purse for carts. That's nice. Um, so here are the tabs. So this is going to be interesting because I've not seen this until right now, guys. So, wow. Well, this is different. Okay, so this is different. This is good to know. So if you saw the Hayden, and I have it right over there. I'll pull it out in a minute. Um, so it has this paper stuffing to keep it nice and stiff. So this does have, you can feel that between the interior fabric and the exterior fabric, there is a substructure in here. It has a leather piping, which is really pretty, by the way. Um, and on the inside, this is a fabric, um, a fabric lining. Um, so the Hayden, um, let me just make sure I don't flash my work again. I don't mind meeting everybody, just, you know, on my terms. Um, let me take the work batch off. There you go. So this is my um, the Hayden bag. So the Hayden is part of the denim collection current season, but this one's leather lined. So that's different. I didn't know that. This leather lining makes it really stiff. Not really stiff, but it gives denim is a textile. It's not gonna it's not rigid, right? So this is a little less sturdy in the fact that it's um not leather, but it's still very firm. This is not gonna collapse, it's not gonna puddle, it's gonna stay this way. Um, this is beautiful, guys. This is actually gorgeous. Thank you, Brian. This is a uh, thank you so much for giving me this. You didn't have to, and I love it. Thank you, you know. Um, I have the quilted denim flat card case, and I love that one. Hayden is leather interior. Yes, the the Hayden has a leather interior. This one has a fabric interior, um, but that's good. Um, I sold it to Jackie. Yes, Brian sold me his Hayden. It's his Hayden that he sold me for the for friends and family discount. And this one is just a gift. This is he just gave me. Um, the bill for them he sold to Jackie. Um, so anyway, here we go. Yes. Um, basically, yes. <laughs> so let me show you this bag. So in here is the bag I'm using. So sorry, I no, sorry, I was wrong. Brian Bill Jones sold the Jackie. You're very welcome, Brian. Uh, I like that for cash to a real wallet. Uh, fun pouch. Aloha. Hey, Saya. Um, so I have this pouch I'm using, but we're gonna switch switch out. Now, not everything, everything will not fit into this, but we will put as much as I can into here. Um, so I think what's gonna happen, um, I have my dinner sitting in front of me, so I don't want it to get onto any of my fabric. So I'm moving it. It's just a set. It's just a sausage wrap. Nothing, nothing exciting. Um, and of course, I hit the mouse. There we go. Uh, hey Jackie, you like floral prints and win the wind wallet from Coach? I'm not a huge fan of the floral prints, and I'm not a huge fan of the wind wallet, but I do like them. I'm not gonna say I hate them, but my favorite wallets actually come out. This is a long chomp wallet. I love this wallet. Um, I go between that one and the one that I got from Craig. So Craig gave me this one. Um, and this is the one I'm using right now. I just switched out for the trip because it's a little bit narrower just by a hair. Um, but this is the one Craig gave me. This is the one I already had. 
So in here I have my key clay that Winnie gave me. What did I just drop? I dropped the pouch. Um, here is my perfume. This is my Dolce & Gabbana, the one men's cologne. My pen and my extra earbuds. So here we go. So I think what's going to fit in here easily is obviously this. Yeah, Winnie, Winnie gave me this. Oh, hey, Winnie. Um, empty tomorrow with Winnie. Um, oh, you're on. Oh, you're going live with Winnie tomorrow with Maya? That's awesome. Um, so here's the earbuds that are going there. I'm going to put the perfume in here and my pen. And I think that's everything. That, I knew that the sunglasses weren't going to fit because look at this case. I bought this. I got this from Winnie. This is a Portland Leather Goods eyeglass case. Um, and this is my wallet. So these are the things that will go back into my bag. And they don't necessarily have to be in a pouch. So this is what I'm going to move from bag to bag right now. So I, I don't like carrying my pens free so they have to have a home it has a home i get much anxiety if my pens don't have a home um because they, they they do not sit in the bags by themselves so and then i'm going to put this on here so there we go so if i would need to run out and run errands or something and i don't need everything i could just take this and i could just put my cards in here too if i wanted to this really could be in everything this really could be a wallet by itself um because this would fit cash easily and it has two um two card slots right here but if you had a card case just throw the card case in here with your little i mean i don't need to carry extra perfume and you know this is just this is um dental picks and sugar and this is just my ear 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 pods so i know they're my backup set so i'm always walking around with big headphones but sometimes i forget or i'm in a place that i need even more noise canceling the ear pods are even more noise canceling so let's put this back into this bag so look how pretty that is it fits perfect and then here we go and this is how i change out my bags every day um now i'll just have to move three little things and i only use the sunglasses when i drive i don't really drive my husband drives so i don't have to really worry about it it's really just in case i have to drive so this is my bag tomorrow and for those who just came in saya uh, yes of course i love it it's a gift what's not the love thank you i got this bag guys i got this bag i'm so in love with this bag um yes i am in love with this bag this is true love this is true love i don't have this style tote um man i'm so happy i have this bag um i could sell this to tomorrow today for five hundred dollars i will never sell this bag it's never going anywhere look there's stitch stitch well okay it's gonna go with me um and seriously i'm probably gonna carry this to um disney this year my um i love dogs y'all know i love dogs um but they also had a cat version um, but the cat version had a pink background i didn't love that i love this everything about this there's nothing about i love the color i love the dog prints i love all the dogs i pluto's my favorite dog i love hound he's why i wanted to I, fox and hound is why i've always loved hounds i love this bag you know you couldn't find a better bag for me ever um, and it has a great drop. It's from a brand I love. Um, pry this out of my cold, dead hands. There's a couple bags in my collection that are in that category. This is one of them. Um, I will never get tired of it because I will always have dogs. I will always love dogs, and I was always I will always have dogs. I love them. Um, well, as long as I have James because he's a caretaker. If it's up to me, um, I would not be good caretaker for a dog. Like as long as I'm able to take care of a dog, we will have a dog. That's that's how I should phrase that because um, they are definitely um, not. They are their work, their investment. They cost money. They're family members. They're expensive. Um, Molly, I'm eighty percent sure they're 
going to get it. I'm going to, oh, get what frozen? Let me go look up here. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me scroll up. I'm being inspired by Jackie. I'm doing it to change my bag more often, maybe every day by week. Oh, yeah. It's just more fun. You have, if you have more than one bag, change them out. And then you'll remember why you didn't like that bag. Or you love that bag. And you forgot why you love that bag. And then you remember because you used it again. Um, so let's see. Unless you cry... Hi, no, everything. Hi, everybody. Hot car. Oh, the Marbach. Okay. Coaches are so cute. Um, Winnie, I'll DM you more pics. Mi mini, oh, wait. Frozen, what do you buy? Um, I'm being inspired by Jackie. Let's see. Saya, the Maybach. Oh, you're looking for a new car. Um, nice chatting with her in that cami. Disney dogs, um, Winnie, 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 gotta go. Okay, I caught up. Um, so anyway, what's in here is my morning coffee that I'm still drinking because I didn't finish it. I really haven't had much food or liquid. To be honest, I really need to drink more. Like, I've honestly only had half a coffee. And two kolaches today. And I have a sausage. I was hoping James would come home with a drink. I didn't want to have to drink his Dr. Peppers. So anyway, I had a really fantastic day today. This is the end of my the end of my vacation. Um, so I had fun. I have oh my I can't I cannot believe I had that bag. It's funny though, because he said it was um an exclusive limited edition, but nothing on the bag actually says that. It it doesn't say that at all, anyway. Here's the packing slip. So this is called the Dogs 24 Shopper in mint. The color, they call it mint. And the code... Uh, B24 DD2169 MITN Mint, I guess. Mint Shopper 24 Shopper. That's they're not very unique with their names, you know. So, I'm gonna chat with you. And wait, you have a sausage? <laughs> I have a sausage wrap. We have we live in Barbecue Town, and James just stopped by the store. He had to go see his mom. His mom was not in a good mood, so it put him in a bad mood. So he's he's already exhausted. He had to do training today. He had to talk to the boss. Things happened. So, you know, work stuff, work stuff. So this is this is sausage in a tortilla. Mm. It's just barbecue sausage. Our little town has five barbecue restaurants, three chicken shacks, or is it four? Four chicken shacks, burger joints, three pizza, four pizza places. We have one Subway, one Schlotsky's, which is another sandwich place, and about a dozen Mexican restaurants. And that's about it. I mean, that's a lot, but we have like 14,000 people in this area in my town, but it's all fast food. There's, there's literally, there's like one little Chinese restaurant that's horrible. Um, I mean, it's good enough, but I'm Asian, so it's horrible. And, um, yeah, Mexican restaurants is the way to go if you want to sit down to eat somewhere. If you want to just drive through, we have plenty of those places. Um, ooh, Saya, like opulence then again who doesn't i have a google maybach i'm not a car person also before i forget happy national laundry day oh yay laundry day i just bought hey sorry i just got my laundry detergent i'll show you what i use this is um let me see if i can take off the drop this is the stuff I use. It's plant based, um, and it's just one pod per load, and it's in a recyclable box. And let me show you how it comes. And this is a sensitive formula, and it's just one 
one thing. It's like a some type of plant based packaging that disintegrates. Um, what does it say? Laundry detergent. Toss a pod directly into washer drum, then add your clothing, choose any wash cycle, and then it, it works. So, so it's one pod per small or medium load, which are mine, or two for a larger load. And it's good for HE. You know, this is a little introduction booklet, and this is what I use, and it lasts us a long time. Um, and I just ordered it off Amazon on subscription, and the whole box is recyclable. So it's trying to eliminate waste or whatever. <laughs> Laundry day. Um, you know I got you. <laughs> That's cool, Saya. Saya, were you here yesterday? Did you see my satin bag? I bought the satin bag and um it's see the staining. I'm gonna have to try and use some of Patrick's tips to see if I can get this clean again. So this is a Tiffany and Company satin bag that I bought, and I'm not joking. Tax shipping and purchase price was $41. Um so I'm gonna at the worst, um, we'll try and cleaning it and then we'll see. Um, you need to watch this episode. Oh, that sausage is spicy. Oh my god, it's so nice to have flavor. The food on the ship was nice. The food on the ship was also very made for everybody's palate. You're having to feed like 3,000 people. Wash it in the washer, please. I might do that when he email Patrick and tell him we're friends and ask for tips like that. Do that. Hey, the Eddie channel. So today's been fun. I got a gift in the mail. Thank you, Brian. Um, and oh, that's something I needed to address. I now that we have like, oh, we actually have a few fewer people than earlier, but um, hello, 40 friends. Um, I know y'all may have seen Craig's and Winnie's live, and I've gotten some a few messages asking about like, oh dear. Um, guys, in no way, shape, or form do I think anybody's taking advantage of me. Not Winnie, not Craig, nobody. You guys are my friends, and that was just somebody else's perspective, not mine. So I just wanted to clear that up. So I know it was kind of confusing if you saw Winnie and Craig's live. Like, what are they talking about? Um, my friend, no longer friend. Um, that was her perspective. Her her perspective, and I don't agree with it. I never did, which is why we're no longer friends. Um, so yeah, I love you guys too. You guys are awesome. And and if I have given something to anybody at any time, it's because I wanted to. Uh, so and when I and I truly do mean that. And I've said this on I've said this on on my lives many times. If you see something I have and you want it, ask me. I might sell it. You never know. I have too many bags, too many things. Um, so I know people aren't here just taking advantage of m me. It it's okay. Um, it was just a really bad situation that kind of blew up. And then I got a few DMs. Like, uh, what happens when you have things like this happen and you don't name names? People internalize. And they think, well, was that me? Did she think that was me? No, no, no. Everybody is awesome. You guys are awesome. Um Sorry you had to go through that with friendship, but you're better off without people like that. Yes, yes. Um, Craig, I love you. I love you. If it wasn't, and Craig actually helped me. Winnie and Craig helped me a lot because they know this other person. And from their perspectives, I was able to see what was happening better. And I only showed them the bare minimum of what was happening behind the scenes. And um, it was only at the very end that I was able to walk away because I'm I don't like giving up on people I don't like giving up on friendships, but I've been with Winnie since the beginning. She's been with me since I started my channel She named my channel guys um, Jack's bag attack is because Winnie named it Jack's bag attack and I started this channel and she's been here since the beginning And then I found Craig and all the other friends in between um, You guys are friends I'm I'm making new friends and I mean that and I keep friends. I and it was really hard for me to let go of a toxic friendship um because I wouldn't really recognize it as toxic. I made a lot of excuses for a lot of bad behaviors and I said, well, it's a cultural difference, it's a language barrier, it's um 
X, Y, Z. But if it wasn't because Craig uh, said point blank, Jackie, he kind of put a mirror. He said the same things she was saying in a different way that made me see the faults versus just excusing the behavior uh, because of a friendship. Uh, so it's better that we're not friends. And I don't, she doesn't, she hasn't tried to contact me. I have no regrets with the past. I regret um, losing the friendship. And I can tell you this much. The reason why the friendship disintegrated was because she was involved with my channel. And um, those who know, know. And that ownership of partially per her perception of ownership of the channel um, is what broke the friendship. Uh, and that's, and you know, they always tell you, don't go into business with family. Don't, uh, don't start a business with a friendship with friends. You know, there's reasons, there's reasons if we had just stayed friends and not gone, uh, talk more about the business side, uh, we would still be friends, but it was because of the actual channel of YouTube, which is how we became friends is why we also became not friends. And, um, I can't change that. I can't change their behavior. You know, I can't change how they were treating me and I wasn't going to do what they were, they wanted me to do. Um, thank you, Jeanette. Um, yeah, they build you up. Uh, see, so friendship part is that's the that's the fun, that was fine. It's when it started becoming ownership of me. This channel is me. I am not a product. I am not. This is not a business for me. This is a hobby, and I don't care about my thumbnails. I don't care about the algorithm. Not really. You rarely hear me say thumb up the live or subscribe. Everybody on YouTube knows how to do that. Either you're going to do it or you're not. Um, a lot of people on YouTube don't have subscription abilities because they don't actually have an account. Um, this is my hobby. You guys are my friends. So I don't want to make this in. I don't want to look at my friends as a paycheck. I don't want to look at my friends as a business opportunity. And I don't want to have. I used to do sales. I used to be in multi-level marketing. That's just my perspective. This is this is something that's fun for me to do. And it just becomes a job job where I'm looking at my YouTube as a way to earn income, then I lose what makes it fun. I already have a job. I'm a public worker. I work in the public sector. I will never make a billion dollars. I will never have a lot of money. Um that's okay. I wanted to do a channel showing people that you could get bags for $30 and still have fun with them, that you can modify your bags, that you can change your bags, that you can keep bags for 20 years and still use them and love them. And if you like, if you like logos, wear logos. If you don't like wear those logos, don't wear logos. Do what you like. Don't do it because people tell you you should do this. Do it because you love it. Um, thank you, Debbie. Um, yeah, it's new here. And I, it, yeah, I know it was a little confusing because nobody, I didn't talk about it. I really didn't talk about what happened. And so I got a bunch of texts saying, hey, what? Um, so basically the person who was my friend, who's not my friend, um, I had to hide her from my channel, block her from all my platforms. Um, luckily, we don't live in the same state. Uh, so it's it's just an end of a friendship, but it was because of the ownership that she felt um, she owned the channel. She wanted my direction to be different. She wanted me to be a business savvy. She wanted me to, and yes, it's a she. Um, she wanted me to do better marketing. She she really wanted me to make us a business. I am not a business. I have a full time job. This is fun. This is relaxing. I'm never gonna. I'm not gonna be a reseller. Um, my posh is gonna be the end of my reselling abilities. At at at. This weekend, I'm taking the rest of my bags to a consignment, and I'm just going to walk away from it. I'm not selling anymore. Um, I will give things away. If people want things individually, I'll sell them individually, but I'm not going to really do... Um, I'm not in the business to buy things, to sell things, to flip things. I'm never going to be that way. I love my things a lot, and I'd rather give them away and give people joy than sell something for somebody to, you know... If you want it, I'll sell it to you. But I'm not going to say, hey, look, I bought this for a great deal. Do you want to now buy it for 500% markup? That's not me. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, and I'm not knocking anybody who can do it. Well, I can't do it. You know, um, I'm glad 
you've bonded with some here. Oh yeah, I have some really great friends, guys. This is the lives are truly just for you. Um, this is for me to hang out with you guys. I do you will not see me take footage from my lives and then splice them in the videos. They're separate. They're entirely separate. I'm here hanging out with you um to talk to you guys, to share share my day. I'm thrilled y'all are listening to me ramble on for hours about my day in my bags. I mean, that's amazing. Nobody in my real life will do that. I'm married to my husband for 17 years. He barely wanted, he loved Disney and he barely wanted to look at the bag. He's like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> and he walked away. I mean, guys, I love that bag. <laughs> like, um, Thank you, Craig. It's hard because when you're new, you really don't know the people. Yes, Monarch. Um, Grace says she's projecting her own thoughts onto someone else. Yes, Grace. That's exactly what happened is that she felt ownership on the channel and she wanted to run how I was. And I kept telling her this is the, this is. And then she would get angry at me if I didn't tell her I was going live and if I wasn't on a schedule and um, if I didn't tell her because she felt ownership to the channel to me and but then ultimately she didn't like what i was doing so ultimately she didn't like me and i'm like if you don't like me why are you here why are we talking why are we even trying to be friends and honestly if craig hasn't said i'm done with this i probably would have still been here months later trying to work it out with her with her but i really trust his judgment and he doesn't stand for bs and i've been in for James, I've been in some really bad relationships that were abusive, so I don't really see manipulation as manipulation. You know, I feel like, oh, maybe if I do it this way, or maybe if I do it that way, or maybe I said this wrong, or maybe it's my fault, you know, because it's, it's, a, it's a habit you fall into. You excuse their behavior. It's their behavior, but you excuse it. So anyway, um, but I'm not angry, by the way. I'm not angry um, with her. Um, it's just, I'm sad. I'm sad that because of YouTube as a business part is why we lost a friendship where if we had just stayed friends and she was never part of the business end of it, um, we would probably still be friends, you know? Yeah. Not a job. Hey, um, okay guys, I have to go Jackie. I love you and love everyone in this life. Thank you, Craig. I'm giving single white female lives. It's giving, yes, it's right. Frozen. Yeah, it was very scary at the end because I wasn't doing what she wanted and she kept escalating the um, verbal attacks. I really was. And the only reason I brought it up to my other friends like Craig and Winnie and some other people was because she knows them and she talked to them, too. And um, I was waiting for the character assassination. You know, I was waiting for more stuff to happen because I had just I didn't say goodbye. I just cut everything all the ties like she has my address she has my phone number uh, she can contact me if she wants to um but i think ultimately she doesn't want to um she's she um she pretty much wished me ill will and to crash and burn in my in my youtube career because she said you'll never be successful and you will be alone i'm like well i'm not alone i've been married for 17 years i have an identical twin sister i have family and i have friends and um i have friends in real life like like in like my geographic location, not just, I'm friends with Dee Dee Bean. We live an hour and a half from each other, guys. It's like, I'm not going to be alone. Again, she was projecting her issues onto me, but it took a lot of effort for me to just say, hey, I'm done. I hate giving up on people. Hate it. Um, I'm the friend, I am the friend that I still talk to people from elementary school, their parents. My sister was friends with, with Rebecca, and when we were in elementary school, I still send her parents Christmas cards. Yes. <laughs> um, we don't stand for BS here. Nope. <laughs> her being angry with you was nuts. Yeah, she was angry with me. Um, Apple love meeting up with everyone on the lives. You were, yeah, and it's like I want you guys to talk to each other because that's why we watch bag content, right? We we can't we we write comments to the people who who show their bags. Like I watch and comment on everybody's videos, and then here we can talk to each other about. Did you see Dale Diction's new beautiful bag? Did you guys watch, um, Meredith's um. Her El oh, Winnie, did you see Meredith's video on her cherries bag that you guys traded? Her your cherries bag, and they oh, I was gonna cry for her if y'all had not seen this. I was like, oh my gosh, I would have. And she she 
like a trooper, she still showed that bag and she still said, "Uh huh, yes." And he has frozen. I have Mr. Watson. He he's he's attached. Um, is not the end all and be all. I agree, Grace. Um, um, she, she talked to me sweet. Yeah. Have you met her in person? The person I'm talking about? Uh, no. When you reach my age, you literally don't give a crap about what other people think. It's it's a it's a Yes, yes, it's free. My father used to tell me that too. Um, I used to care more, um, but the people who can hurt me the most are no longer alive, so it's fine. Um, oh my god, I gotta watch her. I love her. Oh, you haven't seen it, Winnie? So, okay, oh my gosh, it was in her um, LV unboxing. It's, it, I don't know if it happened a day ago or two days ago, but whenever it came out, she shows. I'm gonna spoil it, guys. So, I'm gonna spoil it, but. So Meredith shows the repair of some of her pleaty bags and her, and um, they're beautiful, by the way. Um, and then she shows the repair on her cherries bag. Now the repair LV repair people. Ooh, I'm I'm mad for her. I would cry, would cry. They didn't change out the band at the base, but changed out the leather at the top, and then ask permission. Didn't say, hey, can we do, if we can't do the whole repair, do you still want us to repair this? They repaired half of it, but not the other half. You know it's brand new Vegetta. You know, is Craig leaving? It says, bye. Working voice is native. Hello. Hey, Vivian. Um, I'm getting there. It's freeing. I was shocked what they did to that back. Right, D. I was heartbroken that they had, they put brand new Vegetta on there and then left the, the vintage stained you know patinaed one at the base which is fine if it all matched but it didn't match and even though they tried their dangness it was still oh it was devastating i was i would cry um steph says i agree with a native the older you get the easier it is to, talk, to walk away from toxic relationships well the thing is you have to rem you have to recognize that they're toxic i didn't realize how toxic it was it wasn't until she was attacking my friends that i was becoming more worried um and concerned i'm like because i could make excuses all day long and then when she attacked me directly, when I asked her directly, and you know, you don't ever ask a question you don't want the answer to. And I said, do you even like me? Or why are we friends? I asked her that question. And she said, I like you. I just think people are going to use you and you're going to be left alone and, and you're going to fail at YouTube. Literally, this is a paraphrasing, but that's what she said. And, um, and that was it. And that was after months of talking and months of other issues and months of her saying negative things about the people on my channel and um, the other subscribers, um, you guys, essentially. She didn't like it. She didn't like how I was running my channel. She didn't like how I was running YouTube. I mean, I'm not a business. I'm a person. Um and you, you guys see what I do naturally and organically. It's not premeditated, guys. The only thing I have premeditated when I come onto a live is is on Mondays and Fridays, and I talk about what I watch today. I talk about what's happening in the week. I'm pretty open. You know, I'm a public employee. It's pretty out there. My whole life is out there. It's not really a secret, guys. Um, I work for the state of Texas. It's a big state. You know. Um, so it was a rough, it's been a, and, and going on vacation helped. It, it really did. And honestly, I wouldn't have told many, many people. I really wouldn't have, but it involved other people. And I wanted them to know that, hey, this might happen. You know, so that's, that's why. Hey, Jolie, um, I think I told you, but I may not have. I might have to in a different conversation. Um, that's me too, Jackie. I don't always see it. Yeah, I don't always see the, the, was directly personally directed at me. Um, I can make excuses. I can forgive bad behavior. I can forgive bad um, words. I can say it's a language barrier. I can say it's just a cultural issue. I can say a lot of things. I say, well, did you actually mean that? Or how do you feel about this? And then um, and then it, it just truly just happened because Craig, Craig really helped me look at it in a way that made sense that um, looking back at it in a way that if I was saying these things, would I excuse my own behavior? No. So I can't excuse her behavior. But if you don't see the toxicity, if you don't see the abusive, manipulative behavior, you don't know you're in there. And I was there and I didn't know it. Um, and she hid it really well. She hid it from everybody else. It was only with me. And since I wasn't sharing those conversations, people didn't know. 
you know. So she had to go. We're no longer friends. It's a YouTube friendship that went away. Um, it's giving, put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> Yes, frozen. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. And um, it's like, luckily, I'm old enough. I mean, she's not much older than, well, she is older than I am. But, you know, it just took a little bit of help for me to see the perspective. And again, it was her attacking my friends that actually had me say, wait, there's something wrong here. Why is she attacking? And when I saw the pattern of her attacking my friends, specific friends specific reasons that's when i understood it was about the business and youtube and her control issues about how i run or how i do a life which have it's just me it's my life like how can you not approve of how i do a life when it's my life <laughs> it's like i can't he shoots you to the jackie you have to understand you're a youtube personality now that you have what you say will always be on the internet you have to be careful what you say in the algorithm i don't care about the algorithm i don't think youtube cares about the algorithm or they might share it with us why is so important why is it so overarching i don't care i'm i'm not trying to retire on adsense guys um i'm your number one fan Vibes. And I've met Jolie, guys. Jolie and I have met. We've had lunch. I've met her husband. Uh, we're going to meet again. Um, she hated me and Craig, but she never said nothing to us. Yes, she didn't. Well, she didn't originally, Winnie. She didn't originally. She, she, um, she actually liked everybody until I started talking to you more. And even though I've always talked to Winnie and I've always talked to Craig, I didn't share I was talking to Craig and Winnie and then she was talking to Craig and Winnie and then she realized how much I was talking to them and then she realized that oh I'm not your only friend like oh no I'm not only talking to just you you know I'm talking to everybody you know does that woman have her own no she does not she does not have a channel she was just on she was a subscriber she was a subscriber guys she was just a subscriber she has no channel she has no account oh she has an account like we all have an account but she was part of um helping me early on with youtube and she helped she was uh, involved with another channel before so she wanted to be more involved with mine and i let her you know yeah she was trying to be controlling and when i wasn't doing what she wanted she got mean she was jealous, Monica. She was a she. She was, I guess, one of these people who could only be one friend at a time, and only wanted all the attention. Um, and it's hard because I'm, I'm I'm a twin, right? I'm a twin, identical twin. I've had to share everything. I, I shared a womb with my sister. You know, we we fight like cats and dogs, and then we go, hey, let's go watch a movie, like. I didn't, and my sister, I love my sister to death, my twin, Jennifer, she's awesome. We, we have, we're identical twins. We have the same DNA, folks. We have, we're split down the middle egg here. Only chromosomal differences at this point. Um, we grew up together. We lived together. We shared rooms. We, um, but Jennifer is a taker and I am a giver. And since I was the older child of five minutes, I was always told, take care of your sister. I was always a little bit stronger, a little bit more healthy, a little bit more mature, a little bit faster on learning. Jennifer was always the flighty, fly be free one. And I, I helped her read because my mother couldn't handle reading with my sister. My parents don't win awards, guys, um, when it comes to parenting. Um, they, they did the best they can, as every parent does. Um, but um, so I spent most of my time making sure my sister didn't get in trouble and giving her anything she wanted because my parents because we are so identical that if one child got in trouble we both did because they could tell us apart uh so my whole job was we're not getting in trouble i'm a rules follower guys um apple blonde says when i think it was insecurity and jealousy on her part she could have felt jealous of the friendship and had and how it was connected with us yeah she did she did with everybody, all the subscribers here, everybody, everybody I talk to, anybody I put a lot of attention to, anybody I talk to, uh, read out loud to, made comments about after a live, she would text me her criticisms every time. And I was like, oh, no, that's not the way it was. No, it's okay. And it's like, I would just be, you know, my normal, cheerful self. And, um, oh, my, my twin's calling me. It's like she has, she knows I'm talking about her, guys. She's like, you're talking about me. Yes, I was. Um, 
So she um she doesn't pay attention to my my YouTube schedule. She doesn't watch my YouTube. Jennifer doesn't. Jennifer's about Jennifer. She's very self centered in that way. And she has a family. She should be. Um, she's busy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, Jolie's sending you stuff. Wait a minute. Jolie's sending who stuff? When he okay, exactly. Apple blonde. Jealousy really is a a thief of joy. Yes, it is. That's a great way of looking at it, Winnie. Um, Winnie, how well Jackie connects with us. And it's silly. Jolie sending you stuff. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah, Winnie, that's the scary part for me. Um, is she obsessed with She was, Vivian. I think she was. You guys um, got the twin thing very cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she knows that I'm talking about her. She's Jennifer's needy. Jennifer's clingy. Jennifer's... Um, and we've been this way since we were infants, guys. Like in in the cradle. Like if I'm reading a book or playing with a book, I'm a, I'm a I'm a toddler, right? She'd take the book. We had our own twin language until we were three. And we didn't learn how to speak. And we when we started speaking, it was in full sentences because we realized the adults didn't know what we were saying. Because Jennifer and I knew what we were saying. We were talking to each other the whole time. Like so, um, but I have to have boundaries. I'm bad at boundaries. I'm bad, bad, bad. Uh, because I give, give, give. Because it's always like, give to your sister. Your sister is your younger sister. Take care of your sister. Don't get your sister in trouble. Blah, blah, blah. My whole life, I'm still doing it. Uh, when we were living in the same town, she would stop by on her way home from work. And I would feed her food. And I would cook for her. Because her family doesn't, um, they don't eat the same foods. And she, would, I always had food cooking. And I'd always make her food. To go. I mean, seriously. Everybody... Knowing us growing up, thought Jackie, you're gonna be a great mother someday. I'm like, no, oh. but it's because I had that super caring, giving, um, in that regards, you know. So I would be like, here's food, let me take care of you, um, caregiver in that regards, which is funny because James is actually the caregiver in our relationship, he is the caring one, he is the concerned one. I am not, but when it comes to my family, I'm like, oh no. Um, so it's okay to say no. Yes, I say no now, which is why she gets mad at me when I don't answer the phone. And I've been taking years to train my twin. Like, just because you call does not mean I can answer. I will call you when I can call you. And if you can't answer, that's okay too. <laughs> um, I steal, I steal the package and forgot something. <laughs> Well, that woman's then a big bye. Fel bye, Felicia. <laughs> James is walking back and forth. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's having to do laundry for his mom. Yeah, that's the thing about coming back from vacation. Real life hits you hard. It helped going on vacation. This all imploded right before vacation, and I was really sad and very mopey. And, you know, my dog just died. It was like a lot of stuff has happened to me. It's not like it's been like roses and sunshine over here. And um, so it was like, now I lose a friendship. Great. Now what? You know, but then I went on vacation, and, and um, I have a hard time relaxing. I have a hard time just chilling. I overthink everything. So um, it was nice. I was really hated being away from talking to Craig and Winnie, though. That was rough. That was rough. Um, yeah, 2024, it's still better than 2023, but not by, I mean, like, Year of the Dragon is doing okay. Um I can obsess and still try to get your stuff, Jackie, but if you won't budge, I won't fight. That's okay, Winnie. Well, no, I actually don't mind sharing. Um, and, and Winnie, again, I do not feel like anybody is taking advantage of me. That was her perspective, not, uh, not mine. My perspective is I only give things I'm willing to give. Yeah. And I can't say no. I just don't like saying no. Um, Sorry. Yeah, Vivian, it's rough. My poor big dog. He was our Great Dane. We lost him um, to kidney failure. And there's nothing you can do about that. He was nine, nine and a half. And for Great Dane life, that's a very long life. That is at the upper end of their lifetime. If you, any any dog and great, great and a giant breed, he was 110 pounds. So we're trying to decide... We do think we need we do need to get another dog. We have our eye on one, but they're very expensive. You know, the adoption fee, the um, integrating into a household, you know, and his mom, if she moves back in, at the end of the month, maybe we need to hold off. Maybe we need to get a smaller dog, maybe a, another pug. But yeah, you, Mr. Watson. He's so cute. He's so spoiled, guys. Um, yeah, for me too, Debbie. I'm really trying to stay positive. Just stay positive. Um, 2024 
Yeah. It's, let's let's try and be positive because you know what? There's enough negativity. Joy and kindness is so fleeting and so rare. Grab it and enjoy it. Like my friend's doing this 10 day challenge of posting a picture on Facebook that of a photo that just gives her joy uh, for no explanations, no reasons, just 10 days of joy. That's a good challenge to do because sometimes we it's easy to fixate on the negative and the and, and the not positive. But guys, I've almost died a few times, like a few times. I'm only alive by modern medicine, which reminds me I should take my medication. Uh, since I'm sitting here, I'm just going to do that um, because I forgot last night. I, I literally forgot last night. I did not take my medication last night, and I'm definitely paying for it. Um, I need to not do that. Uh, so, I mean, I'm only alive because of medication, and I know that. And luck and grace of God, I'll be really honest. I mean, I thought I was going to die several times. And um, so I kind of look at every day. It's, it's, it's as long as we can pay our bills and I can keep working. Well, if I ever lose my job because I can't keep working, that's a problem because that's how I get my insurance. And unfortunately, I do need the insurance because my health sucks. Um, there is... There's a, yeah, Miss Kravitz everywhere. Oh, Jolie, I love that. I've had to tell people about the crevices. Like, who are you talking about? Can you never watch Bewitched? A lot of people haven't. So they don't know who the crevices are. Um, it's, it's hard to stay positive. It's hard because there's a lot of negative. And the news is negative. And the economy is negative. And budgets are tight. And, you know, all that crap. Nothing. So find something good. Hang on to it and just try to... Oh, I should have stopped by the pharmacy today. I forgot that, too. Well, dang it. That's one more thing I have to do tomorrow. Um, yeah, time for meds. I know. Time for meds. It's like... So I have all this all this medication. Eek, YouTube drama is no bueno. Veronica, like, I never thought my YouTube drama would be with a subscriber who was a friend. I really thought it would be, like, with another YouTube person, because that's how YouTube drama normally happens. But it was with a, a subscriber-turned-friend who turned that, you know, friend of me. And, it, and honestly, she just played her cards wrong, because I probably would have still been going along with it if I didn't have other friends telling me, hey, Jackie, this is a bad... This is not... This is toxic. This is not... This is abuse. This is not how people treat you. This is not how friends treat you. And I'm like, well, you know, you're right. You know, and I'm just very fortunate that it was only for the short time it was, and it didn't continue. And honestly, yeah, it's over. But you live, you learn, um, you learn every time you go through something like this. And um, I'm not going to let change me. I'm not going to be bitter. But that I did almost quit YouTube because of it. I'm not going to lie. I almost left YouTube um, because of this situation, because it was, um, but I was like, oh, I'm not going to let her her negativity ruined something that I enjoy because she didn't like how I was running my channel, which is me. This is me. It's not, I'm not talking to you like a, a journalist or a fashion reviewer or, um, this isn't a job. I'm not, this is me ha talking to friends, having fun, sharing knowledge, um, and just talking to people about things I love, which are handbags and dogs and, and Dooney and Burke and Ralph Lauren. And I am so excited. So many more people are buying Ralph Lauren because I love that brand. And I think it's awesome and it's underrated. And in today's day and age, if we can save a dollar, save a dang dollar, save a good several hundred dollars. You can get Ralph Lauren bags for $30 that are full leather bags off pre-love market. And they're gorgeous. I mean, you have to be careful about some of them are coated. Some of them are, you know, you have to be careful what you're getting, but that's with anything you're buying. Um, so do that. Um, I got to start YouTube drama with that. <laughs> I got to start YouTube. <laughs> All right, I'm not a drama channel. I used to watch Rich Lux and he's funny, but um, I can't live my life trying to talk about other people's suffering because that's what drama channels are you're talking about other people's misfortunes you're not talking about their positivity and life achievements you're talking about how this person's ex cheated on them are they mr mr watson sir watson is the sky is there a storm coming is that what we're hearing is there thunder i think i heard that too yeah He's looking at me in great concern. 
Yeah. Rich used to be a, a close friend of mine years ago and just too much is it's draining. I don't know. And I like watching Rich Lux and I Mr. Watson. I understand that the sky is yelling at you, but you don't have to bark back. It's okay. Cute little guy. I really missed him on our trip, by the way. But I really like watching Rich Lux, but I just can't watch that much drama. I can't I do watch true crime, but I watch true crime not in a dramatized way. I like it told by an amateur with YouTube. Annie at least tend to life, rotten mango. Um, they kind of tell a story that's a true story, but they're not doing it like you find on television. Mr. Watson, I, I can't talk over your barking. I really can't. You're too loud. Uh-huh. No, don't give me that look. Where's James? James? I think James has his headphones on. Having a baby by me. Oh, yeah. There's definitely a storm. I can hear the sky. He's going to bark again. So I'm going to take these meds, and I'm probably going to have to get off because, oh, my gosh. He's going to be barking all night. We have to sleep tonight, you know. He will bark all night, too. So, anyway. Off he runs. He's going to go run outside in the yard. Go bark at the sky. I wonder if James shut the dog door. Oh, I bet James did. That's why he can't get out. I, I can't open the door for you. You're not going to go out there. If it's raining, you're going to get all wet. I know. Awful. I know. Yes, I am talking to my dog. I always talk to my dog. He's he has a very small brain. You know? Does, do we have a thunder? He doesn't have a thunder shirt and he doesn't and C B D oil does nothing to affect him. Honestly, if he's not scared. He's angry. He's mad at the sky. He thinks the sky is a big dog and he wants to go bark at it. Um and he will just keep barking at it. Like he barks at the lawnmowers because he thinks the lawnmowers or motorbikes or bicycles or skateboards are all the devil. He has a very little brain, you know. So I talk to my dogs all the time. Hey, they're my family members. I, I know they don't understand me. They speak dog, but they understand tone of voice. They understand tone of voice. They know I'm talking to them. We do eye contact and we know he knows I'm looking. He got James just called him over there. So yeah, James just called him away. Um and he'll be fine. So the only thing that actually works with him in you know, when storms is we have to put him in his crate and then we have to put a blanket over it, but we hate doing that. So we just let him bark. It's fine. I'll sleep through it eventually. Um so anyway, yeah, so I don't like to watch a lot of um, so right now I'm not watching a huge amount of bag content or luxury purchasing content because uh, sometimes it can be too much. It can be too much, not just FOMO, but um, consumption in general can be too much. So I switch it up between a lot of different things. And I realize like I'm showing you a new bag every day, um, but there's a difference with showing you a bag for $30 or $50 compared to buying a new bag every day that's, you know, several hundred dollars. I'm not showing you a Ricky every day, although I do think I'm showing you a Ricky tomorrow. There's a Ricky coming up on my channel. I, I have about two more weeks of um, pre-filmed and I'm starting to film some more stuff. I don't know if I'll be doing daily videos. Uh, it just depends on how much content I can put out there. Um, even though they're 10-minute videos, 30 of them is, is you know, it takes time to do. And like I, today I filmed three videos, so I have six more I have to post. And, um, and, and those who join me in the lives, you guys see them. You see the stuff I'm talking about. But sometimes it's fun to have an individual video and um an actual unboxing so um we talked to my cats as well okay guys anyway i'm gonna get off this live it's two hours it's eight o'clock i need to go to bed i have to go to work tomorrow i will see everybody on winnie's live tomorrow now i do attend winnie's lives i actually attend a lot of lives but on lives i don't chat um because i can't actually divert my attention as craig says i don't met i do not multitask well this is the truth um so i need to focus on the conversation i can text once in a while but i don't follow the the text so well so i'm going to be at super Jacob's lives and i'm going to be at winnie's lives and i think um is dd going live this week um i still haven't caught i think i caught up you know, I still haven't caught up on Dee Dee's lives from 
from her one year. Um, so I have stuff to catch up on. So anyway, <laughs> oh, and and if everything goes to schedule, I'm actually meeting DDB for lunch Saturday. Oh, Jolie is driving to Miami tomorrow. Be safe. And um, yeah. Anyway, good night, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me. I enjoy everyone's company like I do. And I will see everybody again on Friday, if not sooner, on other people's lives because we all kind of join the same things. And um, have a great night. Bye, guys. Bye, Latina.